He is known for being a prominent botanist and a pioneer in the field of cell theory. He is recognized for his discovery that all plants are composed of cells and his recognition of the importance of the cell nucleus. His name is Matthias Jacob Schleiden. In the world of science, one name stands out for his groundbreaking contributions, Matthias Jacob Schleiden, a German botanist whose work revolutionized our understanding of plant structure. Born in Hamburg on April 5, 1804, Schleiden initially pursued a career in law after graduating in 1827. However, a period of emotional turmoil led him to change professions and delve into the realm of natural science. Schleiden's passion for botany blossomed during his studies at the University of Berlin. Encouraged by his uncle, Johann Horkel, he focused on plant embryology and began studying plant structure under the microscope. His research led him to a profound discovery, all plants are composed of cells. In his influential work, Contributions to our knowledge of phytogenesis, Schleiden and his contemporary, Schwann, formulated the principle that cells are the fundamental building blocks of all living organisms, much like the atomic theory of chemistry. Recognizing the significance of the cell nucleus, which had been discovered by Scottish botanist Robert Brown in 1831, Schleiden also understood its connection to cell division. His work paved the way for a deeper understanding of plant development and laid the foundation for the field of cell biology. Schleiden's dedication to his research and his groundbreaking discoveries earned him a position as a professor of botany at the University of Dorpat in 1863. Sadly, Matthias Jacob Schleiden passed away on June 23, 1881, in Frankfurt on Main. His legacy as a pioneering botanist lives on, as his work continues to shape our understanding of the intricate world of plant life. Schleiden's contributions remind us of the profound impact that scientific inquiry can have, unraveling the mysteries of the natural world one discovery at a time. Schleiden, a renowned biologist, played a significant role in advocating for the theory of evolution. In his book, Die Pflanz und die Erleben, he delivered a lecture on the history of the vegetable world that openly embraced the concept of species transmutation. This groundbreaking work made him one of the first German biologists to embrace Charles Darwin's theory. Schleiden soon became known as a leading proponent of Darwinism in Germany. Not content with solely publishing scientific works, Schleiden also sought to popularize science among the general public. His book, Die Pflanz und die Erleben, was reprinted six times by 1864, reaching a wide audience. Additionally, he wrote, Studium, Popular Vortrage, which aimed to present scientific concepts in a way that was accessible to lay readers. Through these efforts, Schleiden contributed to creating a momentum for popularizing science in Germany. Interestingly, Schleiden's passion for science extended beyond his scholarly pursuits. He also expressed his creativity through poetry. Under the pseudonym Pernst, he published two volumes of poetry in 1858 and 1873. One of his poems, titled Die Airs Ten Tropfen Fallen, caught the attention of American composer Harriet P. Sawyer, who set it to music. This collaboration between science and art further showcased Schleiden's multifaceted talents. Schleiden's dedication to advancing scientific knowledge and making it accessible to a wider audience left a lasting impact. His advocacy for evolution and his efforts in popularizing science helped shape the understanding of biology in Germany, leaving a legacy that continues to influence the field to this day. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.